PEI. We got two shows for the Indian River Festival. Here's the hometown boy himself. Adam, I think this is our this will be our second time performing in PEI, I think. Correct? That's true, yeah. And it has a feel to always get to come back home and uh, show everybody what you've made of yourself. <laughs> what I've made for myself. Uh, it feels great. I, I mean, PEI's awesome. And especially, it's really fun to be here in the summer. Uh, I think the last time we were here, which was our first performance, I think it was a pretty big success. Uh, drumming group, I mean, we know already that there's not many groups like Torque in Canada, especially out east, they never get to hear this kind of music, so uh, I think it, the audience is really appreciative to get something new and exciting like that, and uh, this time around, now that a few people know who we are, and there's a little bit more buzz, uh, hopefully it'll be even bigger and better. Well, yeah. so uh, you're hoping that we'll get to a beach sometime in the next few days? Oh yeah. Hopefully, the weather's a little rainy right now, but uh, it's supposed to clear up tomorrow. Supposed to clear up tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll do some some good beaching. Work on our pre-show tan. Beautiful. Got to get the people what they want. Absolutely. We uh, found out that we received some financial support from the Ontario Arts Council. That's absolutely right. So uh, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Ontario Arts Council for all their support and making this tour possible. Because without them. We might not eat, <laughs> and we certainly wouldn't be putting gas in the van. Absolutely. Thank you, OAC. Everybody say thank you, OAC. Thank, thank you, OAC. Thanks, OAC. Thanks, Rich. Oh, thank you for being you. The sights, sounds, and even smells of PEI. Thanks guys.